this is our final booth, both inside the World Show Place here. We've got the spring onion soup, another duck confit, and the off the beaten path, which is supposed to be the surprise hit. Also here, a hibiscus lemonade cocktail and a mini, a mint wheat ale from 81 Bay Brewing Company. Here's the booth inside. Once again, light crowds in here. So a good time to come in here. I hear there might be an additional beet cocktail as well here. That's up by the register, but see what we come away with. All right, what do we got here? What so, booth? We went to the Farmer's Feast in World Show Place, and this is a seasonal menu that they're gonna like rotate throughout the festival. But today we got the spring onion soup. I believe this is a caramelized onion jam. It's a huge portion. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell how big the bowl is, but it's a huge portion. All right. We also have the duck confit with roasted vegetables. This is also a pretty big portion. And then we have the off the beaten path perfiterals uh, with a golden beet cream and yeah, so it looks good. Let's dig in. Let's try the spring onion soup. Put a little bit of the jam in there. Mm, that's really good. I like that a lot. Doug's not a huge soup fan, but I like the um, onion flavor. It's very like nice and creamy. Um, but it's definitely a big portion. It's, it's a little bit heavier of a dish. For a second bite. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, let's dig into the duck confit here. Looks like a little bone there. A nice sized portion of duck. The duck in France was better, but I like the flavor of this duck better. This is pretty good. Maybe just a good cut of duck here. Yeah. Let's try a vegetable and the sweet potato puree, maybe. Our vegetables are a little sad. They look like they've been sitting for a while. They're a little wilted. But the flavor of the puree is really good. And I like the flavor of the gravy. All in all, nice dish. Uh, this, I don't know if this is a fork and knife or... All right, let's just pick up a perfiterol and try it out. There is a slight hint of beef flavor in there, but it all works really well together. I really... It's, I'm surprised, like I didn't think I was gonna like this, but this actually is a really good dessert. I thought it all, I think it all works really well together. Even though there is a slight meat flavor, it all like tastes sweet and good, but not too sweet, which is nice. The soup first. Like she said, not a huge fan of soup, so we're gonna go spring onion soup. It's not bad. It's got a, it's creamy, Decent texture, you really get the onion flavor there, so. I'll allow it, <laughs> as far as soups go. Took three bites, that should tell you something. <laughs> that means it's over. pretty good. We're moving over to the duck here. We have a little piece cut up already. It might not be sweet potatoes, it might be carrot. I think it's carrot. It's good. I might have gotten a little tougher part than you, mm -hmm. but I think you got a really good slice there at the beginning. Yeah. But to be fair, I'm just paying down here. There's a, there's two pieces here, so there's definitely plenty to go around. Finally, we're gonna stick right over here with this monstrosity. Who even knows? 
I liked it. It tasted good. What we're doing here. I liked so it. Weird. It's got like a little squirrel beef there. Yeah. I feel like that dish is what the festival is all about. Like trying different things. Some that you don't get elsewhere. I expected the cake to be like crunchy. It's not oh. a cake, it's a profiterole. No. I didn't really get the earthiness of the beets until right at the end. Like when you swallow and then breathe out, you get a lot of the earthiness of the beets. But before that, you get a lot of the sugar that went into it. It's definitely an interesting dish. It might make the most interesting of the festival. I'm not sure about the best of the fest, but definitely a most interesting dish. Just outside the World Show Place, we have a few extra topiaries. Mickey Mini here. Now we can look in the back of the cleanest work trailer ever with the cleanest weed eaters and leaf blowers and equipment that I've ever seen. I'm sure this is not realistic, but I wish it was. <laughs>